Curly Proverbs, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking you through my curly hair routine. The aim of my curly hair routine is to get my hair as defined as I possibly can while maintaining a volume at the same time. So thank you so much to Abiding In Him Daily who suggested that I show you how I use the products that I talked about in my porosity and how to deal with porosity video. Uh, she actually asked if I could show how I use them in a routine. So I'm gonna be taking you through clarifying and cleansing the hair, deep conditioning the hair, and then styling it afterwards. So let's go. So guys, this is my hair at the end of the week. If you normally watch my videos, if you've been watching them for a minute, you know if you've seen any of my previous detangling videos from way back when, that my hair is normally a hot pile, like literally a hot mess by the end of the week, tangled, matted, with completely undiscernible curls, but I found I've been able to minimize that by using the Refresh Curl Revitalizing Hair Smoother. This helps to keep my hair defined throughout the week and that means less tangles and less matting and it makes this whole wash process a hella lot easier. So I applied the Clean Rinse Clarifying and Moisturizing Shampoo to the scalp and I put quite a generous amount and I really focus on working it in. Normally at this stage I'll be using my Shampoo Scalp Massager but Boo Boo was playing with it and I couldn't find it for this video but annoyingly I found it after I shot the video. Story of my life guys, story of my life. So I'm already starting very lightly with the detangling process because it's quite a moisturizing shampoo as well as a clarifier so I'm able to start that process and I'm going down in one direction do not pile your hair on top of your head if you've got curly hair that is just asking for trouble so then I go in and I have to rinse out all of the product. Again, the water from the shower does help with you starting the detangling process. Then I go in with my Rassel Clay, guys. If you've seen the video for this, you know I've got three recipes. It's the third recipe and I actually defrosted this because I freeze them in batches so that I can use them whenever I clarify. I work from the roots all the way down. This stuff leaves my hair popping. It's amazing because it actually conditions the hair whilst it continues the clarification process. So I leave that in to do its thing, which is like nourish, condition and cleanse all at the same time. Yeah. Hey, you know, I got to wash, 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 see me, see me, wash, 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 wash. I know that I'm corny, but I don't even care right now. <laughs> Old days. Anyway, now that you're traumatized by my singing. I go on to repeat this process throughout my hair, which is to shampoo and then apply the Rasool Clay. And I just wanted to show you the front of my hair. Look how that Rasool Clay's got my hair popping, the curls defined, like literally, it's unbelievable as a product. It strengthens my hair and yeah, love it. So I rinse the first quarter that I actually applied the clay to and I'm going to go in with my deep conditioner. I have been loving, loving the Moroccan pear conditioning custard. It's got Moroccan pear oil, it's got cherry kernel oil, nettle, aloe, jojoba, rosehip. It's got different things for like a range of different porosities of hair. My hair has been loving it. It gives great slip when I'm detangling. Uh, by the way, all the details of all the products that I use, every single one is going to be listed in the information below. Okay, so you might think this is a little bit weird, but then I go in and I take all of the twists down. And the reason I take the twists down is because when I separate my hair, if I don't use like a rat tail comb to separate it, I feel like there are some occasional bits that don't actually get detangled, particularly at the roots. So I'm gonna work my way from the ends back detangling, but then I want to detangle like literally, like the roots are my focus at this point. So I do try to do this next stage, but I don't always like, I have to apply heat to get the best out of my deep conditioning. Sometimes I get away with just using the steam from the shower, but sometimes I just go and put my hot head on or like my DIY hot head, which I've got a video on by the way, or like um, sit under a hooded dryer. And that just lifts the cuticles of my hair and allows that conditioner to go in. Um, and here I am just rinsing out all of the conditioner. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is my hair fresh out of the shower. You can see that it's already drying like really quite quickly. And I normally apply my leave-in conditioner to soak in wet hair. That's really important for like definition, especially for curly hair and especially for low porosity curly hair. So I go in and I apply my Curl Love Moisture Milk um, after I completely saturate my hair with water, with a spray bottle that I got from like the pound shop or Wilco's. Really, really sad though, because like my Curl Love Moisture Milk literally ran out when I shot this video. And yeah, I was not even joking about that. It literally is done. So I need to go and pick up some more. Um, and I just work that throughout my hair from the roots down particularly putting extra at the ends of my hair so it gets that nourishment and then I go in with my curl maker and I apply that throughout the hair and I clump together any like curls that aren't really defined and this is like a really important phase like the curl maker actually helps my curls to be popping for the longest time and again I think that also helps with less detangling at the end of the week so it really helps to keep the definition of my hair um, throughout the week. So now I go in and I apply an oil of choice. Now my oil of choice today is argan oil, but low prosty hair also suits things like grapeseed oil, um, you know, really light oils um, work really, really nicely with my hair. So I'm particularly focusing in at the roots where I don't want it to dry out and then putting a little bit of the residue left on the rest of my hair. And then I'm going in with my almond jai twisting butter and I love to apply that to the ends of my hair and again, work any residue that's left in my hands all the way back because I don't want my hair to be too weighed down. Um, to be honest, at the end of this video, my hair is a lot flatter than I like it to be. So these aren't my results after I've diffused my hair. Now I was in a bit of a rush, so maybe my hair's like 70% dry here. I just didn't want to leave the house with soaking wet hair, but I was late to get to my friend's engagement party. And so I allowed it to air dry. Now my daughter had her fingers all up in my hair at this engagement party. I'm surprised I had a curl left on my head, but at the end of the day, I just came in, quickly picked it out, and I've come to basically show you what my results look like. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out my previous video, which is focused on detangling and my favorite detangling tool at the moment. Okay guys, peace, deuces. Looking at how long it takes for me to detangle and also what the curl definition is like. At the side that I styled and detangled with the tangle teaser is super defined. The curls just spring back.